Did you see immediate changes after the Civil Rights Act or was it a gradual change? Or? I don't really remember an immediate change because like I said, nothing was really drastic for us. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I moved to Washington, D.C. for a while. So um, I did not see an immediate change. I'm just trying to think now of some of the places we could go and that. I don't think, I think you were so used to not going to some places that you just didn't try it mm -hmm. right after. Mm -hmm. So I would have to say no, I didn't see an immediate change. So your first house that you bought, what year was that? Wow, that was, um, that was in the 80s. Did you have any problems with no. trying to find a house? or I did not. I, uh, we ended up buying, I think, from a private owner, so he actually held the, the loan. Okay. So no, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have any problems. Um, are there any other recollections that you have during this time period of segregation? I or... can't really think of anything else. That strikes me that I want to talk about. Um, I do remember the first time I was able to go to the drive-in. That's one place I wanted to go real bad. To Maryfield. To Maryfield. So tell us about that. What happened? <laughs> so we did go. I went on a date mm -hmm. uh, to Maryfield, and I was a little nervous. You know, anywhere you go the first time, you really are a little bit nervous, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so we did go and it really was fun. It was wonderful to be able to go. No problems. No one said anything mean or we couldn't go or anything. But to be able to go right down the street from your house really was great. So as things began to open up, it was fantastic that you could go to a lot of places. Was your mother scared because you were going to a if she was, newly she integrated? Didn't, she didn't let on that she was. Now when you went to Centerville to the movies, that was segregated. Was there a special place where blacks had to go? I think, I don't remember whites going to that theater. So it was just blacks? I do remember it was just, to my knowledge, it was just blacks. Okay. Oh, and it was on 28, you know. Yeah. Big field there. I don't know what's there now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I don't remember. I just remember us being there, blacks being there. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the Tasty Freeze on Arlington Boulevard? I do. Was that segregated, or was it always integrated? I was, a, oh, I think, I never remember not being able to go to it. So if it was segregated, we wouldn't have just, we probably just wouldn't have gone. Anywhere you know you couldn't go, you just, you just didn't, didn't go. go. Right. Yeah, but I don't remember that ever being segregated. So I know I've always gone there to my remembrance. Did you ever go in Vincent's store? in Maryfield or was it the IGA then? It was the IGA then. And how did they treat you? That was, we were fine. Yeah, I think everybody coexisted pretty well in this area. Mm -hmm. So it was fine. We went to the Safeway. Uh, we went to all the stores mm -hmm. around here. So mm -hmm. we were never told we couldn't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't remember that being segregated. Where would you go to buy clothes? Seven Corners. And did you ever have DC. Oh, you know, Washington, D.C., no, never any trouble there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I bought a lot of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had to go on the dates. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I never remember any, any trouble there. Yeah. Of course, Seven Corners have made so many transitions because it was a strip mall and then it went to a covered mall and now it's back to a strip mall. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, of course, we had Tyson's Corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever have any problems at Tyson's Corner? No, never. Mm -mm. Never felt like people were watching you? Mm, or... Never. Well, there again is uh, what I was saying to the congressman that actually today, you almost, you know, he was saying, weren't we angry about not being able to go different places during segregation? But the answer was no. We had our own life, our own world, our own community. But actually, after the civil rights, when we were able to go places, there are times when you know that, well, you suspect, you know you can go, 
but you have to really ask yourself, am I really welcome here? So, you know, you bring that question up. Yeah, we're always, you feel like when you go in these stores, you're watched differently. Even today, mm -hmm. you feel that way, mm -hmm. that you're watched differently, mm -hmm. or you're given an extra amount of attention. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, we know that we can do these things, but there's always that little suspicion there because you can't change people's hearts. Mm -hmm. And some of the people that were around during segregation, they're still here. So you don't know what they're thinking, how they feel, and they just have to be a little more diplomatic about yeah. it now. So. Right. <laughs> so once you graduated from high school, then what did you do? Graduated from high school, I went to a two-year college. It was a secretarial college.